guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I am going to do an empties video. This is going to be my very first empties video. So if you guys like to see what I went through and see my empty products, keep on watching. Okay, so this is my first empties video. I haven't wanted to do one for a while now, but every time I would put products off to the side and like kind of save them so I could share some of my empties, it would get thrown away. Either by accident I throw it away or my husband threw it away. And a lot of it is more um, hair care and skincare, definitely a lot of skincare products um, that I've gone through within the period of time. I think there's like a few makeup items, maybe just a few. So I put a whole bunch of my empties in this bag. That's how I did it right now because I know a lot of people put their empties in a bag. Most products too I did get from TJ Maxx. So you probably hear about TJ Maxx a lot. I do get uh, great bargains and deals with the skincare. And the other one got thrown out but this is the uh, Vitamin E Moisturizing Healing Replenishing Facial Sheet Mask. And I went through this whole thing, the Vitamin E. I think the other one, and it got thrown out, it was retinol or something. I liked the Vitamin E a little bit better than the retinol. This I actually got in Kohl's, and it was like a buy one, buy one, get one half off kind of a thing. Here's a hair product I got in Sally's Beauty yeah, Sally's Beauty Supply, which I don't have, sadly, no more. It's really depressing to think about that because I loved going in there for my hair products and skincare products. This is uh, Beautiful Textures Moisture Butter Whipped Curl Cream. I finally went through this. I like it. It's not bad, but I found something better. I kind of like the Maui and... The other one I bought in Rite Aid that I couldn't pronounce too well, and I forget the name of but it, those are the ones I seem to like better. Of course, you guys know I've shared my Nick Chavez, uh, the conditioner, <laughs> but I had a shampoo and conditioner, went through both of them, so and it's his advanced volume uh, shampoo and conditioner, so those I already went through, and I'm on my big guys now. My, this was actually a limited edition from Axe, you know, the women's Axe. I think it's Anarchy and went through that and I really liked this but a limited edition scent you know how that goes almost went through the whole thing of this this is soy protein and caffeine volume from Proganics I like I told you guys before like OGX and Proganics both were sending me stuff I noticed the Proganics line isn't so much anymore because Proganics is from OGX but I think it was their pro line um, but I just thought a lot of them products were okay. I, it was, I wouldn't buy it. It was okay, but I went through a shampoo and conditioner and um, I didn't go through the whole thing. There's still some, some in here, but I, I was kind of done with it. I, it was all right. My, for my hair, I ordered, no, this one was sent to me, wasn't it? Yeah, this one was sent to me from Joyaco and it's the K-Pak Color Therapy Luster Lock. I uh, believe this is like the deep conditioner. I really liked this, so I would repurchase this, which you guys know I like some of the Joyco products. This is the Got To Be uh, from Schwarzkopf, Got To Be Kinkier, and I do like the Got To Be Kinkier line from them, but I like the mousse and the curl cream better, and this is a um, double curling power gloss and defined curling spray gel. And there's a good bit still in there. It's like about right here. But it was just one hot mess for me. It made my hair sticky, tacky. And yeah, just it was a, it's a hot mess. So I'm not really going to keep it. I shared this to, with you guys. The I don't know if it's Hobio, the Calgenerous uh, Advanced Youth Rejuvenator. This product here. I shared this in a video just recently. I don't know if I purchased this. I might of the other products but this one here and it, it's nice it's not that it's not nice it's a nice gel moisturizer my mascara from covergirl this one's the total tees i figured it's time to hang this one up i liked it it's it is a nice mascara it um 
I feel like it lengthens more than anything. So if you're a person that likes length for your lashes, you would like this. Would I repurchase? Possibly. Maybe. I mean, I did like it. It's not a favorite of mine, like, oh my God, I have to have it kind of a one. But I do like it. I got this in Ross. And this is from Daniel LaRoche. And it's the Plant Stem Cells Firming Face Serum. So Daniel LaRoche firming facial serum. I do have the eye serum, uh, like your eye serum moisturizer kind of a thing. And honestly, I really liked this. I really, really did. So if, if I do see it in there again or anywhere, I would definitely highly recommend getting this for anybody. I would definitely tell anybody to get it. And it's from Daniel LaRoche. Any of them products from Daniel LaRoche? I have had pretty good experience with. You went through one of my e.l.f. Uh, high definition under eye setting powder and this is one of my favorite um, under eye setting powders. It depends on which concealer you use though because I noticed when I used my shape tape and I'm like uh oh because with the shape tape I'm not sure if it's working so well for me right now with my skin being so dry and under my eye, I'm not sure. I've, I moisturized pretty well under there. And when I did this with it, it kind of looked kind of, it looked a little bit cakey. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work great. It, for me, anyway, that's the experience I'm having. But otherwise, I, I love this stuff. This is a TJ Maxx and it's from the company Lanolin. This is Rose Hip Oil Skin Renew Firming Serum. Uh, this has collagen, vitamin C and A. I really liked this stuff here. I don't know how well you're seeing it there, but it's from Lanolin and I got it in TJ Maxx. So if I do see this again, I would definitely pick this up. I really liked this serum. This I'm going to share. I This is Mariah Carey's Luscious Pink. And I'm already going through my other one. And this one's an empty one. This one's more of a collector's edition bottle. I'm going to keep it. I might even put back behind me here just to have it like decorate now. You know, it has like the cute little butterfly and everything. This is actually, and it's funny because two of my favorite perfumes that are not really that expensive or inexpensive is Mariah Carey Luscious Pink and um, JLo Glow. Those are my two favorites. And that's what my mom's actually getting me for, my, uh, for Christmas is the two perfumes. Every time I wear Mariah Carey Luscious Pink, I get the most compliments from so many people wondering what scent I'm wearing or any of that kind of stuff. So yes, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this was a deluxe sample of Sephora uh, waterproof eye makeup remover. I would actually get the Sephora, the big one. This is a deluxe sample I got. I would get the big one. I think this is really, that was a really nice eye makeup remover. This I got in TJ Maxx, definitely. I remember it's a, uh, it looks like Glycoderma. That's what it looks like. It says it's kind of worn off a little bit. It's revitalizing facial cream. It has 25% glycolic acid solution. It was a really good moisturizer too. You probably can't see the name too well because it did wear off a little bit, but I did find that in TJ Maxx. This I really liked and it is pricey though, but it is from my Zo Skin Health Zen uh, Abaji. This is the eye cream, intense eye repair cream loved this stuff. I went through it like crazy. I mean, there's like just nothing, nothing left in there. Cleaned it up and it is a really nice eye moisturizer. So I really liked that. This I liked too, TJ Maxx. <laughs> and it's from the company Skin Lab and it's a lift and firm treatment serum, hydrolyzed collagen, elastin hydrate to firm and tone. It looks like this. Totally would try anything from Skin, Skin Lab again. And if I've seen this, it is a serum, it has a dropper and everything. And it's like, it looks like a milky serum though. But I really liked that. John Frieda Frizzies, really good if you have, you know, yeah, the Frizzies or flyaway hair kind of thing. So yeah, that was like a deluxe sample I had. Really nice. Uh, deluxe sample of Glam Glow Power Mud. Uh, dual cleanse treatment. I think I did like this. I know there was a blue one too. This one's in the green. Um, 
I liked this one, if I'm not mistaken, too. My Mally Effortless Airbrush Perfect Skin Mousse. She doesn't even have this anymore. That's one thing I noticed, like, with some of these companies, you know how it is. Like, they'll have it for a little bit, and then they're gone. She doesn't even have this. But it was a nice foundation. It wasn't bad. It was nice. It was, like, a nice moussey whipped foundation and it did look it did look like an airbrushed look i did a my goodness i did a demonstration on this long ago this was my second one i went through my first one this was my second one another item from skin lab is the eye gel lift and firm collagen uh, eye gel this was really nice it had like uh, little beads in it another item from skin lab that was nice and well that's it <laughs> I was trying to make sure if that was all I had or not, you know, because I wasn't quite really sure. So that's all my empties, and it was my first one. So, yeah, I had fun sharing with you guys some of the products I went through. And I like to watch them. I didn't, I'll be honest, at first I really didn't get into them too much. But then I started realizing and learning and got more fascinated as I went because I realized that you know, you're seeing what people are going through and you get an idea of what they're really liking. And also, yeah, just you see some products that maybe you might want to try you've never tried before. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as the bell. The bell will notify you to when my videos will be uploaded and ready to watch. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.